Hi everyone, this is Elaine. And this is Dr. Jonas. In this episode, we will be talking about jaw-dropping case. Number one. Stay tuned and we hope you enjoy this conversation. Welcome to another episode of Apostolified Conversations. We're now here on episode 6. Sabi nga namin ng episode 5, we will be discussing hard cases. Hindi lang hard cases, kung hindi jaw-dropping cases! <laughs> so this is case num- jaw-dropping case number 1. Okay, so you will know, bakit ba siya jaw-dropping so, bakit nga ba nag, uh, bakit ang isang case, Doc Jonas, nagiging jaw-dropping? Of, of course, there's no fixed criteria or wala namang parang description. But how would we define a jaw-dropping case? Jaw-dropping case? Uh, <laughs> it's a complex case. It requires a lot of specialists. It requires um, careful and meticulous uh assessment and treatment no kasi if we um make a mistake it could it could uh ruin uh the mouth or the teeth so and that transformation is of course jaw dropping kasi that's right <laughs> it will really change not just the teeth but the full face the teeth the smile the face the personality like improve self esteem like sky high so, to introduce this patient, this case, this actually took a lot of months para makapag-decide si patient. But when she finally decided, she put her 100% trust on Doc Jonas. She only had one request. Doc, pagandahin mo ako. I want to be confident. I want to feel like my normal self again. Of course, naiintindihan niya yung limitations. Iba na yung age niya, uh, iba na yung case niya. Uh, marami nang nag-iba over time. But her request is, pagandahin mo ko. Doon kasi sa beauty, everything is connected. Eh. How she will deal with the people, how she will look at herself in the mirror. So, yun. And she put her trust on Doc Jonas. Smooth lang tong case na to. We only had seven days to complete everything. Of course, the whole uh, case, including yung mga molars, um, it will take a lot of time. Kaya nga siya jaw drop, jaw dropping is because we need a lot of specialists. But for this um, outcome, this result, kinailangan lang niya ng magandang smile for an event. And then, after that, gagawin na namin yung mga other uh, teeth niya. Specifically, the molars, the gums, etc., etc. Yeah. See, Doc Jonas, please kindly introduce or discuss the case. So, this one, uh, actually, the patient uh, has a bridge here. This is a temporary bridge. So, it took her, like, more than a year at that, no? na ginagamit niya tong... Yeah, m- more than a year. More than a year. Uh, pandemic pa, so... so pandemic. Three years. Three, I mean, two, two. When, when COVID, so mga two to three. Ah, uh, mga two to three years na siya naka-temporary. So imagine the... 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 gums, no? Kasi it's not like super fit on the teeth and also may mga impingement on the gums. And also the bite, there's problem. So a lot of a lot of problems here. We're looking at the perio side, the gums and the supporting structure of the tooth. And also we're looking at the, the occlusion. 
okay we have like small problems like uh, calculator deposits it's small problems when 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 you look at the bigger picture but it's not small small but you know because of the 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 complexity of the case uh and damit and dami na kaming limitations with this one so i needed to explain to the patient what needs to be done um the process itself and uh, i also um need the help of my few specialists with this one uh number one yung gum expert ko uh si Dr. Janine she's the periodontist to assess the case before we you know go through the process kasi ang ang hirap if you go uh, straight to restoration if the if the foundation is bad so we have to uh we have to consider that health is number one and how can we be able to um improve the function plus aesthetics so tatlo yun eh there's a triad the, the health function aesthetics that we are always uh achieving or aiming to achieve when it comes to cosmetics no, Jonas you mentioned she's wearing temporaries ito yung yellowish yeah na that, teeth niya mm-hmm. ano ba yung temporaries yung temporary kasi it's made out of plastic no na material so it's permeable number one, uh, the the bacteria could easily enter inside especially if it's done temporarily it means that the cement is also temporary and that it's not well um bonded or there's leakage no there's a micro leakage that uh, potentially could uh give trouble to the health of the of the teeth and the it might um create problem to the integrity also so kaya dapat nakikita natin to and also ang mga plastic madaling mabasag they're not meant really for uh kaya may mga chipped areas yeah and since it's permeable nagbabago talaga yung color ng dramatically so from that yellow to super super duper yellow so kung ano kinakain mo nagiging ganun siya so that's why it changes the color so kaya as you can see no the her major request is pagandahin siya because hindi talaga siya pleasant yeah it's, it's not pleasant and the shade yeah yeah diba yung shade ng ipin niya may missing yeah it, it, it's, big it's, it's really off when when you uh try to Uh, compare the color of the lower teeth to the upper super off and also as you can see there's like spaces on the bot- uh, sa bottom teeth and calcular deposits because of the missing molars so that's what we need to address as well and as what I've mentioned we have lots of limitations with this one but we will going to give the patient the patient what she deserves when it comes to the treatment dahan-dahan to. This is not like a isang bagsakan process. We just need to make sure everything should be healthy, the gums, everything, the teeth, well prepared. Tapos in the future, we will going, we are going to... In the to, near future. In the near future, no? Uh, ang gagawin na, next step would be dental implant sa mga likod to make sure that we close the gaps and we establish the bite perfectly so that it will not give us more trouble like TMJ problem uh spacing and also function dapat dapat na na ayos natin yan ito anyway. dok yung sinabi mo na temporary kasi actually yung temporary niya is removable temporaries she can remove it by herself yes as you can see here we you have you have like two missing teeth and eh madami siyang missing teeth pati sa likod wala na almost And also, we have a root canal treated tooth here. Dito. So, we did the build-up on this side. We did um, composite build-up on this area. Actually, almost, ano na eh, parang we have what we call a ferrule in dentistry. And we have to make sure that uh, it's um, existing before we can restore it. And the prognosis can be determined based on the ferrule. Um, but there are some cases like um, we need to use it because we don't have a choice. Uh, but the prognosis would not be as good as, you know, um, as compared to a vital tooth. 
na katulad nito na hindi na root canal. Iba pa rin yung matibay ng ipid. Pero iba pa rin yung sinesave mo yung ipid kaysa you extract it for... Uh, you extract it. Kasi ag iba, yung, yung psychology, eh, bagunutin mo din naman, why not patagalin? Pero what, why, why save the tooth? We are not just saving the tooth. You are saving the bone. We are saving the bone. The, the hard structure because once you re remove the tooth the bone will recede nawawala sila na, nawawalan sila ng purpose so nangyayari uh, nagko-collapse yung face so tumatanda so that that's the reason why we we do root canal we do implants yeah so anyway. Dr. Jonas diba we also do well we really do temporaries when doing veneers bridges crowns so here with her case, kaya siya nakatemporary is because she will be doing the final restoration sa ibang dentists. Yeah, at. yeah, actually, actually, yes. uh, 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 she went to other dentists. She came from other uh, de uh, dental office. Tapos, so yung gumawa ng temporaries na yan, hindi, hindi po kami, we did not do her a yellow temporaries. Another dentist did that. But she wasn't happy. That's why gusto nga niyang sa amin. Pero hindi ko alam uh, for some reason uh, hindi sila nag ano ata nagmamatch. Yun yung trust na sinasabi ko. I don't know. So siguro it's a good thing kasi if you don't trust why why continue? Ganon. Kasi you only have one shot. So yun. Pero at the end of the day you have to trust your dentist kung titinan natin kung ano yung magagawa. So hindi sila nag-agree sa, sa design and the color and everything. So eto ang ginawa namin we we remove of course a temporary clean the teeth make sure that we um remove all the cavities para at least mas stable so okay. with Dr. Jonas um just to let everybody know these pictures ito yung before when you did the teeth preparation when you handled her na clean na siya wala na yung mga calcular deposits because Dr. Janine already cleaned it yeah, kasi we did the the upper one. <laughs> of course. I mean, we cannot, we cannot... Baka kasi sabihin nila, ay, ginaw, ginalaw ni Doc Jonas, may dumi pa. No, wala lang kaming picture na nun. And uh, meron, pero hindi lang namin ipapakita. Uh, but na-clean siya. Uh, Trust us, na-clean na -clean siya. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's totally different. I mean, we cannot, we cannot put something in there na permanent, tapos it's not clean. That's why we have like chlorhexidine, two percent, to deactivate the MMPs. It's totally effective. We have a lot of antimicrobial properties that So I didn't. I don't need to discuss it here, because it's very technical. Pero we remove everything because we want the longevity. Without removing these um, potential. Uh, the, these bacteria could potentially damage the teeth and will lessen the longevity, which we don't want. Because, siempre investment okay. yan. Okay. So, what's the next step? Natin do cleaning. Okay. So, we we did the cleaning. Of course, we remove all the calcular deposits here. We remove all the calcular deposits here. Lahat, lahat. And then we remove uh, some areas here. It's actually. We have a margin here. So, ang problem dito hindi siya masyadong well-defined. So, we define the margin. We, we remove the soft um, infected area, which is very important. And then also, we did the root canal here, retreatment, and restore back the tooth uh, using composite. Pero it's just, you know, making sure that everything should be at least um, intact and at least durable for a bridge. So, after your teeth preparation, Doc Jonas, lumabas si patient with a new set of temporaries which la lalagay din natin dito. Yung ginawa kasi natin dito is an upper and lower case. And then, uh, the upper and the lower, we, we did that to make sure that the bite is, ano, uh, at least in harmony. Kasi if, if it's not in harmony, ang mangyayari, sisirain niya yung ceramic. So, it's not gonna last. So, papagitan namin yung after case here. Yung ceramics. Okay, the ceramics muna. So we have we we did a an eight units here, uh, sa upper. So it's a combination, uh, case. 
combination of? We also have uh, veneer crowns and bridges here. We we just want to make sure that uh, what is for bridge will be what is bridgeable should be bridged, uh, and also what is uh, for veneer prep uh, prep. Dapat I mean, the reason why we do veneer prep because we want to conserve tooth structure. That's why kung hindi siya kailangan crown, why 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 would we do crown? If it's uh, if we can save tooth structure as much as as much as possible, we we do that. So, so Doc Jonas, imagine this is one. This belongs to one mouth, but it's a combination of three different treatments: a bridge, a crown, a veneer. Yeah, yeah. But you can really never know, especially the patient. They will never know what is suitable for a tooth. Plus, sa lahat ng ipin niya. Yes, you you will never diba? know. You will never know what's best for you. Then of the day, we know what's best for the patient. Let's say, for example, there there are um, treatments. Let's say we go for a crown. Why why would we go for a crown if we can go with veneers? Um, uh, doc, I want to save my tooth. I I want to save uh tooth structure as much as possible. Pero doc, gusto ko crown, ha? Huh? Hindi pwede yun. So if you want, if you want a uh, crown, then we it means we have to remove more. If we want minimally invasive, then we go for veneers. So, and dami, but and dami it kong, will be the dentist who will determine. Of course, it will be the dentist who will uh, determine the case, and it will be discussed before, and there will be changes during. Why? Because, kala natin for veneer siya pero uh, there are there may mga huge cavities in there which we na cannot hindi nakita sa na hindi siya makikita sa x-ray na hindi siya makikita hindi naman lahat nakikita eh so iba pa rin yung clinical iba pa rin yung what's in there clinically that I can see it in my five times magnification na loop okay to, to tell you that there's something wrong we have to uh, revise the treatment. I mean, we have to extend it a little bit more. So, kami nakakakita yun. Kami nakakakita. Yes. Okay, so, balik tayo sa case. This is the upper. So, that is the, actually, the patient wants a whiter shade. So, I actually um, tell the patient that we go for a, a little bit subtle lang. Pero, syempre, that's the reason why we, we ask the patient. And if she likes it, we give it to them. Pero, ano lang tayo? clear lang tayo but at the end of the day at the end of the day uh, nagbabago kasi yan sa mouth tapos if tatagal yan mag adapt it will look natural pag tumagal pa lalo especially pag nag adapt na adaptability okay. not only with the ceramics or yung teeth but also with the lips with everything paano siya magsalita yeah. how she smiles yeah para kang ano para kang bata tinutubuan ka ng bagong ngipin pero ito pa in an instant, may complete sets of teeth ka na kaagad. So, it will take time. Pag bata ka nga, it will take time for you to form it. Eh. Pag, tuman, pag matanda ka, tapos dire-diretso yun, may hihirapan ka nun. That's why, uh, it requires time for you to adapt talaga. Hindi siya in an instant. The color, akala mo sobrang puti, in the next few months, hindi na pala siya ganun kapote. Pero, depends sa Depends sa material. And we don't use uh, the 3E3, zirconia, which is very, very white, uh, opaque, and monolithic. We don't do that. We do layering technique so that in the future, the ceramics could easily adapt to the face, to the mouth. Pero it really depends on the material. Ako, I always favor yung pinaka nakaka-adapt na material, which is a combination yun siya. And it's done in my lab and we have a system already for that. Okay, so yeah. we'll see how well versed Doc Jonas is. <laughs> okay, so this one, Doc Jonas, is for the so, lower so for, arch. Yeah, for the lower arch, naman, as you can see here, six there's six units. Yeah, it's six units. There's still a little bit of like spaces there, but we cannot go further. I mean, we have we do have limitations because of this what space. spaces, Doc Jonas? Uh, here we, we have spaces here. Sa part na to, okay lang yun. Sa part na to, may mga spaces tayo. So, we, we cannot we cannot close that because ang problem naman natin doon, it might perhaps 
that's cause problem to the gums. So, at least, inayos pa kasi natin yung gums eh. At the end of the day, it's not just a problem with the 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 teeth eh, but also the totality sa gums. So, we have to consider consider a lot of things. Pero and, hindi, it, it, it doesn't show naman sa mouth. And to let you know, the yung sinasabi na gaps, Dr. Jonas explained that very well to the patient. And because the patient trusts and trusted Doc Jonas during the process, wala siya, okay, Doc? Why? Because if ipipilit ni patient, ang gusto niya, and Doc Jonas will listen to the patient na hindi naman niya alam the science behind it, then it will put harm on the patient. So, the gaps there, maybe you would say, ay, bakit? Nagpaayos pa yung gaps. Uh, pwede naman maklose. Actually, technically, pwede naman pwede, technically we, I can close that, but because of the history of the gums, yes. we can close it now. It, it looks really be- extremely yes. beautiful for now. But in the but, future... Mm-hmm. You have to consider the longevity of the teeth. So you see... Ang ganda nga ngayon, after five years, wala ka nang ngipin. You have to consider, you trust us. Pero sometimes, for some patient na insistent talaga of what they really want, but they don't know the science behind, even though I explained it to the core, then, you know, ang hirap. Parang, parang nasa edge kami palagi na para kaming, hindi, para akong bayaran. <laughs> parang hindi naman ganon. Pag uh, this is scientific, at the end of the day, you're paying my professional skills and knowledge. Trust the process. Trust me. And pag ginawa mo yung gap, kinlose mo yung gap, maganda siya, but there will be bad breath. Yun actually yung problem din ni patient eh. May bad breath siya. Because nga, yung gums isn't healthy. So, mm-hmm. di ba? Pati yun, kinoconsider. Yes. It's not all about beauty. It's not, yeah. It, this is not like purely beauty without looking at the health and the uh, functionality, longevity. Because we also have cases here, maganda teeth nila, but they are not confident now. They always close their mouth. Kasi may bad breath sila. Mm-hmm. The reason being is because of the unhealthy gums. Yeah. So you see, so, yeah. patients don't know, don't know that. Only us. Especially the dentist. Uh-huh. Yan. Okay, we move back to the case. Papakita okay. na natin yung after. So, this is the this is the uh, after. Uh, like, right after the cementation, we took a photo of the, of, of the patient's result. And it looks very beautiful. Patient loved it. Uh, she cried when, when she, she, she had the try-in. Uh, in disbelief na maganda na yung niya, of course. But, um, ito yung gap na sinasabi ko. <laughs> ito yung gap na sinasabi ko na hindi na siya ganun ko-obvious pag nakabit na siya sa mouth. So, just trust the process. Yan, hindi na siya ganun ko-obvious. Ito na lang, pero yung iba, hindi na siya. Because the gums will adapt in the future. Pag mag na yung gums, it will adapt fully. So, with... Depends on the case. It, it really depends on the case. So, yung bone level. Exactly. Oh, up. Hindi naman na mababalik yung... Exactly, movie. exactly. But, satellite, satellite. But with their case, ito yung nangyayari. And also, ano, um, it's well adjusted, well uh, adjusted, and yung mga hindi na healthy na area, we remove a, a little bit of contacts on that uh, part kasi we want to make sure that the occlusion is um, okay. But at the end of the day, this is just half of what we what um, we are intended to do to the patient's case. Uh, this is actually a parang full mouth reconstruction. So half, well, halfway there, we still need to do a lot of things for the patient. And uh, hopefully... And along the way, yeah. Doc Jonas, you will still adjust the bite. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Uh, the patient needs to wear night guard to protect the teeth because there's here, here's the thing once you have a new set of teeth tapos tulog ka ang mangyayari the, the it will send a signal to your brain that oh pre merong bagong salta dun sa bibiga pakialaman nga natin so mangyayari magagrind kayo sabi niyo 5 seconds lang kasi papakialaman ng brain niya yan eh ano kaya yon 5 seconds grinding 
uh, and our mouth can generate up to 150 uh, pounds of force. So we have to we have to protect that. Okay? Five seconds of that uh, pure grit strength, and then longevity. Uh, tawag dito frequency, like every day. Baka gumive up yung ipin nyo or yung ceramic nyo. That's why you have to protect it. For night guard. When? Pag gano, buhay pa kayo. During sleepy. Uh, uh, pa, pa, uh, hangga until when? Until when? So, dapat gamitin nyo siya balagi. Kasi you don't know saan kayo, kailan kayo may stress. Especially pag stress tayo, we tend to clutch our mouth pag tulog. Pag stress na stress. So, ang nangyayari, nag nagkiklench, nagkagrind, nasisira yung ngipin. But not just the ceramics, ah, but I am, the ceramics kasi yung ngipin na yan, mga kinakabit namin, we can actually fix that. But we, what we cannot fix is the bone. Pag yan nawala, mahihirapan na tayo. Hindi na siya basta-basta graftable. Hindi na siya nagagraft basta-basta. So it will take years for us to grow the bone. That's why, take care of it. Kasi ang goal natin is to keep the teeth and the bone intact as long as we live. Quality of life. So, may limitation tayo. Kami, ceramics, we can control that. But, you know. There. So, yeah. it's just jaw-dropping case number one. And you see how complex it was. We have a lot more and how we are able to achieve from point A to point B Considering the feelings of the patient, yeah. considering everything, even her time, lahat lahat, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, ha, uh, what we do here. But what we can really guarantee is our effort, our commitment, and the dedication yep. to your case. And we will do everything in our power to give you that satisfaction give you the happiness but at the end of the day you need to trust us and yun we will give you what you deserve and that's the apostolified way quality <laughs> quality quality service quality okay so again that's jaw dropping case number one plenty more cases to yep. come and other surprises in the next episode. Well, I'm so excited to share more cases because the, in this part, kasi you can be able to relate. Ano ba yung treatment para sa akin? Ano ba yung may expect ko? Doc, ano ba yung pwede kong, ano ba yung expectation? Ano ba yung pwede kong gawin after? May mga limitations ba tayo? Ano ba talaga yung nafe-feel pag may veneers ka, may cross, may bridge? Ano ba yung nafe-feel nun? Uh, ano ba yung process kasi doon yung question palagi kasi iba-iba yung process eh like my process is different from other clinics my my uh, even let's say for example the process in the states is different from the process in the U in the in Germany so iba-iba sila ng process the material but at the end of the day we have a common ground which is you know it should be scientific it should be systematic and there should be uh Evidences, evidence based talaga dapat. And at the end of the day, experience. Yun. So, yun. Okay, so there you have it, guys. See you guys again. Thank you so much. If you have questions, please do message us or contact us anytime. Thank you so much. See you on our next episode. Bye.